Hey, it's Chris here with your fishing forecast for November 27th. But before we dive into this week's forecast, quick reminder, it is the final weekend of Black Friday around here. So last chance to get in on some awesome deals. This week in the shop and online, you can save 20% on all fishing tools and accessories. So think hemostats, nippers, awesome pairs of pliers, anything like that. We got 20% off. We have great deals on some Reddington kits, some Sims clothing. And as mentioned before, a lot more deals in shop only that we can't advertise online but you definitely want to get down here to find out more about. Give us a call, come down to the shop. We'd be happy to let you know what's going on around here. We have some wicked deals on some broads, on some lines, on some jackets, a bunch of really good stuff that you're not going to want to miss out on. So get in touch. We'll be happy to fill you in there. As far as fishing this week goes, fishing this past weekend was phenomenal for us. Uh, we fished up north, down south, all over, and found fish all over the place. That rain that we had really helped, and some nice steelhead temperatures to go along with it was great to feel as well. Um, looking at this weekend, things are going to cool down a bit. We're getting temperatures in around the low single digits to hovering in around freezing. But don't let that fool you or scare you off. That means that fishing is still going to be great. Um, you know, we're not getting temperatures into, you know, the very low uh, negatives. So we don't expect a lot of ice or slush on the rivers yet. Uh, but it does mean that, you know, there's only so much time left before things do start locking up. So if you haven't made the time to get out steelheading, now is the time to do it for sure. The fish are here, the water's in good shape, and almost every river now um, and it's really a great time to be out there. If you're going to swing flies, we do find that your winter colors start to pick up a little bit more this time of year. So think about, you know, your blacks, purples, um, pinks, things with a little bit of color to them can produce really well. For whatever reason, they start to pick up. Uh, maybe it's the low light and just the add contrast they offer, uh, but they do start working a little better this time of year. If you're nymphing, then worms. Uh, there's a definite worm bite when things get a little bit colder and a definite stone fly bite when things get a little colder. So definitely think about them in addition to your regular egg patterns and you'll be in good shape there. With the cooler water temperatures as well, I can say from my experience this past weekend fishing with Theo, um, we fished a lot of different kinds of water and it was very consistent um, that the back ends of pools, the tail outs, the slower stuff is really where fish are starting to sit and hold. Uh, and so that's where we'd really recommend that you start putting more attention. As those water temperatures do come down, fish are going to feel a lot more comfortable in softer water. Doesn't mean they won't sit at the head of a pool. And by all means, you know, if a fresh fish is shooting in uh, to a river, then that is the natural stopping place place at the heads, uh, but as fish tend to hold more, definitely that slower water starts to become more of a pattern, so something to keep in mind there. As always, if you need any advice on where to go this weekend or what fish, get in touch, we'll be happy to help you out. Good luck out there.